and I realized few things that I would like you all to know because it will help you all to you know in your exams whatever it is whether it's MDS exam or BDS exam it will really help you Assalamu alaikum everyone so many of you might be knowing that I am pursuing my MDS from prosthodontics and yesterday only I gave my last paper of final year MDS exam and Alhamdulillah the exam went well. I wouldn't say it was a very excellent just because you know I made some blunders which you know many of you might make just because we have so much things you know in our mind going on and we also have limited pages to write in MDS they just give us 37 pages so we have to manage and divide all the answers based on the available page. So there were few mistakes here and there which I could have done you know better but overall alhamdulillah it, it went well and I made this video today just I just because I want to share something with you like what was my experience I was studying since the past two months uh, like I was just studying since the past two months um, and since past one month I was studying for like 14 to 16 hours a day which uh, is fine because I had so much to cover and I didn't want to leave you know anything so I had made certain like target and like strategy I would say and the revision strategy as well and I realized few things that I would like you all to know because it will help you all to you know in your exams whatever it is whether it's MDS exam or BDS exam it will really help you so first thing is that uh, whenever like you are starting and you have let's say two months left for exam make a target and you know divide what you have to learn with the time available as I've already told in a video I had made before so you do that one more thing revision is very very important so what I did was like we have paper 1, paper 2, paper 3 and I divided uh, like paper 1, paper 2, paper 3 equally I gave them equal time and I made sure that when I completed paper 1's like timeline and I reached the paper 2's timeline like studying timeline I made sure that I revised what I had learned in the paper 1 and it really helped me initially I was not following that I was like in a panic state that I have so much to cover let's not revise it but I don't know what um, uh, what uh, <laughs> went in my mind and I started revision as well like uh, simultaneously I started revising what I had learnt in the previous um, paper one and you know the previous section and this really helped me because when I was revising it for the final time during my exam I realized that the things which I had not revised initially it was taking a lot of time compared to if I had done the revision so make sure that you revise revision is very important and the more you revise the easier it becomes you know um, there were few things that I had uh, done revision multiple times so I just had to you know turn the pages and I could recall each and everything so that's the beauty of our brain revision is very important then um, I have so much thing to share I'm not getting it actually let me uh, think yeah other thing is that when you enter the exam uh, and first of all make a content list like in our exams we have to make a list of the contents we'll be writing um, in the front page when you get a question you take two minutes you write all the contents that you'll be writing so do that it really helps because when you're writing you are in a flow and um, you know you don't have uh, much time available you tend to forget things so make that content list as well make a lot of diagrams diagrams you know we are visual people like even the examiner uh, is a human being so he understand or she understands visual things much better so make diagrams so that um, people like the uh, examiner gets to understand just by you know having a look that yes this person the student knows um, the content the concept very well so do that what else um, yeah don't try to revise each and everything just before exam I did this in the first paper I did it did this in the last paper and I realized that if I haven't done all those struggles I could have done my paper actually better you know because there were few things I you know in in, in uh, what do you say um, in hope that uh, I would cover a lot of things I missed few things 
which I knew I could not write in the exam. I could have done that. So that's one thing. Um, what else? And yes, a lot of students ask me that, uh, ma'am, I have two months, three months left for exam. Will I be uh, able to make it through the exam? Yes, you'll be able to do it. Uh, if I can do it, anyone can do it because I am not a bookworm person. I don't study a lot but yeah during exams I study but otherwise I'm not a very bookworm person so if I can do it uh, you can do it yeah one more thing uh, notes so uh, many of you might be knowing I make digital notes uh, because I like studying digitally and also I like the convenience the notes uh, like the digital gadgets are having like you can carry them around anywhere you can study whenever you want so I made so many digital notes I think for MDS Prosto I have covered all the topics in my notes it will be coming it will be published soon inshallah we'll be working on that it's in the raw format because it was just for me but uh, I'll be publishing it after modifications inshallah so make notes it really helps and one more thing when you once make a note after reading the textbook don't just stick to the notes okay there are many things that you know in the first reading you might not understand very well but if you read the text like two th times three times at least you can improvise on the notes so my notes which i had made initially uh, i had made once and then i again uh, uh, like i read it again from the book i read it from different sources articles and all and i modified my notes based on that improvise on that we can improvise just by you know going through it again and again so that uh, that is one thing um, and practice diagrams uh, it is very important I think that's it I have not made any kind of script today <laughs> so that I can um, you know know what to say uh, I cannot recall any more thing and today is my farewell in the college so you can see all, me all dressed up. I'm just sitting in my car and I'm just going upstairs and see if all my friends have uh, arrived. So I'll see you soon. Inshallah. Take care. Allah Hafiz.